We talk about the latest topics in entertainment. I'm Brittany Jones Cooper. I'm Shannon Coffey. I'm Ethan Slater. And I'm Lucas Tim. Woo! Hi, everyone. Woo! Today, we're going to talk about Bob's Burgers' big musical awakening, this year's ranking of the most powerful people in Hollywood, Rihanna's new work, 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 <laughs> Noah Cyrus' latest publicity stunt, It'll Have You in Tears, and Freeform's plan for this Halloween. But first, Ethan Slater, the star of SpongeBob's Girls the Musical, joins the table. Woo! Ethan, welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Before we begin, in full disclosure, because I'm professional, we did go to the same high school. We did go to the same high school. You're only two years above me, so we do know each other, just so everyone is aware. That's true. We're very full professional. Full I think that was really it. smart of you to disclose. Go Hoppers. Absolutely. Go yeah. Hoppers. Because our viewers definitely would have gone online and be like, yeah. you know what? Conspiracy theory. Yeah. They know each other. Pizza Gate. Yeah. Yeah. We're involved. Yeah. Yeah. We just want to it always goes back to Pizza Gate. Always. Yeah. It always does. Oh. I mean, Ethan, tell yeah. us, you know, SpongeBob's now you ended, but can yeah. you talk about like how how that experience was? And you were nominated oh, for man. Home, Tony. Woo! Congratulations! Yeah, oh, thank yeah. you. It was the thank you. Yeah, it was the most unbelievable experience um, of my life. It was un, it was amazing. It was better than I thought it would be, and I had pretty high expectations, which is a pretty cool thing. <laughs> so I got to like play SpongeBob on a Broadway stage for you know fifteen hundred people every night for a year, uh, and it was so cool. really incredible. And yeah. this was your yeah. like first big Broadway role, yeah. and you were the lead. Yeah, it was my Broadway debut. Yeah. It was really, I, yeah, uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to top it as like a personal thing, but it was, it was a pretty cool way to go into it. I will say though, like I was, you know, and I was really surrounded by the most amazing people. Yeah. Like I, the cast of SpongeBob, just follow them wherever they go because they're not only like talented, but they're actually just the best kind of people. Mm -hmm. um, so I felt really taken care of and like it was an ensemble and it was awesome. Um, and yeah. False humility aside, they really are like the best people in the world. I love that. So that was cool. And now uh, on to whatever's next, yeah. I guess. So what is, is next? Terrifying. I know you have a yeah. busy week, a lot of like different shows and gigs. Coming. Yeah. I'm doing like concerts, uh, you know, uh, friends who are composers, I'm, I'm singing their, their music. Um, tonight I'm actually singing at the National Sawdust in, in Brooklyn, mm. um, doing a song that I wrote from a musical that I wrote. And then I'm also going to be singing another song, um, actually by, by Paul Simon. Cool. So that's gonna be that's gonna be for Today Ticks and the Dramatist Guild, and you should check it out. Like Darren Chris is hosting. Wow! Oh, cool oh, night. Mg. Yeah. Of is gonna be there. Cool. And then crazy enough, the thing that I'm doing tomorrow, they announced it on Twitter, and they were like, Ethan Slater's gonna be in this concert. Um, but uh, above my name, because significantly more important, was John Mulaney and Ethan Slater's gonna be in this concert, <laughs> and I had no idea. Oh, yeah, so John Mulaney. Yeah, that's how I found out. Was I found out uh, on on Twitter. <laughs> that's so, great. Um, I am incredibly excited yeah, to <laughs> maybe meet him. I don't know. I don't know if that's how it's going to work, but I hope that's how it's going to work because he's awesome. Right. That's a good thing to find out on Twitter. Unlike you know, if you're like Secretary of State and you find that you get fired off. Twitter. That's <laughs> oh, wow. bad news. That, that is bad news. You had good Twitter. That's this is true. Good news. This yeah. Is good news. Yeah. Well, anyway. we're happy to have you at the very happy. Yeah. 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 Thanks for having yeah. me. Yeah. That's good. Woo! Glad you guys. Emmy-winning animated series Bob's Burgers is kicking off its ninth season with a full-blown Broadway musical. Hamilton Tony winner David Diggs and original Book of Mormon stars Josh Grad and Andrew Reynolds are among the Broadway actors voicing characters on the show's premiere airing September 30th on Fox. The special episode sets the stage for the upcoming Bob Burgers musical expected to hit movie theaters in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Bob's Burgers. Bob's Burgers, guys. Are we excited for a musical episode? Another musical episode? I'm excited Woo. for who they have in it. David Diggs, for me, has done no wrong since Hamilton. I feel like he chooses really fun projects and he lends his voice and his personality. So I would watch this purely to listen to him sing some more, basically. Right. Or yeah. rap, whatever he's going to do. He He's probably going to do both. it all, right? <laughs> yeah. I feel like every project I see him in, even if it's just like a random episode of CSI, he just starts singing and rapping, and I'm like, cool. justified, makes sense. <laughs> With that talent, you should do it. I like, mus I like musicals. You know, I, Glee, I liked Glee for the first, like, four seasons. Sorry. And I even watched... <laughs> Wait, why are you saying sorry? It, 
I, 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 I respect Ryan Murphy a lot. I don't, you know, but Glee, I was very loyal to. I watched every episode of Smash. Remember Smash at yes. NBC? Yeah. I love Smash. I was very loyal to Smash, even though that took that went places too. <laughs> but tough. I don't know if I like when like random shows just do musical episodes. Like I, you know, Grey's Anatomy did it. I didn't love it when they did it. Yeah, but then like you know, you have like Community, which right. did it, and it worked really well. Because, yeah. Yeah, we community. have the cast awesome. of Community in our audience. <laughs> They're there yeah. supporting us. Chevy Chase, good to yeah. see you again. Yeah. Yeah. We okay, love how yeah. you doing? Chevy Chase. <laughs> Chevy Chase is like, this is the worst type of comedy ever. And we're like, we get it. We get you don't it. like anybody else doing comedy. Sit down. <laughs> but that was true. Community, I did, well, they made it funny, and it was ironic, and I yeah. like that. They're it's making, like a spoof. A spoof of it, yeah. because sometimes it gets pretty ridiculous when like a, reg, like a drama, like yeah. Grey's Anatomy, they're doctors, and they start yeah. singing. Like, what? I love Grey's Anatomy. I shit for them all day. Like, I still watch this show. But that episode was pretty tough. It was pretty <laughs> tough. And they had uh, Sara Ramirez, who like actually had sung on Broadway and is very talented. So it wasn't about the talent level. It was just how awkward right. it was and how much it didn't really fit into the storyline. I mean, it's like such a specific thing, yeah. singing in the middle of a conversation. <laughs> right. You like sort of you have to like sell it really well. I'm not sure that like you know one person's brain trauma. Right? Isn't that what happened in that episode? <laughs> yeah, she was basically like in a coma. Oh, yeah. like, so she's, she's dying. Sure. Yeah, she's, she's dying singing while they're trying to save her. Life, stop singing. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't mean, know about that. I wish doctors in real life sang more because I feel like they're such bummers. Right. They don't want to answer questions. They're so over it. They just, you know, but it would be better. Getting bad news, they're like, we have to tell you, really. Just so, you know, <laughs> just Five, so six, you seven, know. Eight. You're sick. You're really, really sick. I don't know. I'd be like, okay, just calm down. You picked that up, though. That was yeah, good. That was was like, nice um, but I've got me thinking, like, what, what, like, what would I want to see? Like, something like, maybe if we saw, like, Homeland the musical. Like, nope. Harry Madison <laughs> say, yeah. fighting nope. terrorism and just crying and drinking wine and playing jazz music and sing boop a pop Like, I don't know. Maybe that would work. Maybe I'd be into that. I don't know. I think if we have a show in America where we make terrorists sing and dance, they're definitely going to come for us. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's the final. They're like, that's a vital They're song. like, we're serious. <laughs> they were like, oh, man. One show that did do it right, I think, was Blackish. They they did a mu musical ex episode that was sort of, like, inspired by Hamilton. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that one was, they did a really good job because it was, like, on point and, like, newsworthy and, like, tied from the headlines but also yeah. historical and you learned something. Mm -hmm. And it was one episode. Well, Blackish is brilliant. I mean, yeah. Kenya Barris and that whole yeah. team. Like, so I, I get that. Remember when Even Stevens did a musical episode back yeah. in the day? You guys remember that? Yeah. I remember being a little bit, this was a big deal. Like, and we, all I know is we went to the moon. Yeah. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah. She gets it. <laughs> we have the cast of Even Stevens in the front <laughs> 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 So nice of you to join us we, today. We just have canceled TV show cast yeah. in our audience. It's great. It's one of my favorite shows, Even Stevens. Yeah. I don't know why it's not on Netflix. I tweeted them like all the time. It's and they not. won't put it on Netflix. Can you watch it anywhere right now? I don't think so. Send me the link to the hack site. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, The Hollywood Reporter just released its annual ranking of the most powerful people in showbiz. Walt Disney CEO Bob Iger tops this year's list. Other influential figures to have made the cut include Black Panther director Ryan Coogler, Crazy Rich Asians director John M. Chu, Renaissance man Donald Glover, and actress and comedian Tiffany Haddish. Ooh. What a list. Ooh, wow. Yes. Congrats to them. Yeah. They're doing it. What's funny, we were talking about this earlier, like how did they determine what most mm -hmm. powerful meant? It wasn't just how much money they made, it also was their clout, uh, as well as conversations with insiders, and as well heat. as- And heat. And heat. Chance and I, Bob Iger, whoo! The just heat gives of off Bob that Iger. heat. Everyone say, Bob Iger, oh my God, he is so hot. Woo! I mean those salt and pepper types. <laughs> yeah. Salt and pepper types yeah. coming back. <laughs> yeah, this list is really interesting. It's actually a really big deal in LA. Like people, like when they get sent out to the email, like, people are reading and seeing whose bosses they have to like suck up to now or whatever. But it, you really do see, because yeah, there's great, we, there's Ava DuVernay, and there's Oprah, and there's, we, there's some people we all know, but it's also like, you know, um, Richard Plepler of HBO and um, um, Ted Sarandos of Netflix, and these executives who actually have a lot of the buying power and really do determine what we see and who mm -hmm. become stars. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Wow. I guess that's yeah. what heat is. Yeah. I guess it's bigger in LA to me. It's just like, eh. Right. But it is cool to see some new faces on the list. Mm -hmm. um, and people who were on the list last year, like Les Moonves and Brett Ratner, men who were mm. accused of sexual assault, are no longer on the list. Instead, we have Ronan Farrow on the yes. list, who was just like, taking them all down, which I love to see. I think he's the most powerful guy in Hollywood yeah. right now. Woo! Like, if you get an email from Ronan Farrow, you're like, shit, yeah. what did I do? Oh, you don't want to see ah! that. And that's real power to me, is fear. It's fear, I mean, right. It seems like, yeah. it seems like it's, it's a cool thing to like see the people who are on the list and like 
think about what that means for the power that they have for making things move forward. Like yeah. Ryan Coogler, like we can't wait to see what he makes next, and like right. all the things that are coming up. And so, so to see that like there's a recognized you know heat, whatever yeah. that means, yeah. around them, and like Tiffany Haddish, you know, like the, that means that like even if they're not executives, they can like bring in totally the people to make the things happen. So that's like. That list is a good sign for what's coming next, yeah. which is cool. LeBron James, I'll throw in there too. LeBron James, like saying. Space Jam. Like, right. yeah. yeah, the Heat. Did you say Space Jam? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. is that a thing? Too, he is. He's yeah. I mean, he's totally. doing other things. But he's no, 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 but nothing has more heat than <laughs> Space, Space Jam, Jam. And I think we all know that. We have yeah, a cast of Space Jam in the middle. <laughs> Michael Jordan. Yeah. 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 I love you, MJ. So good. Woo! I love basketball. <laughs> I love animated features. Yeah. No, I the absolutely hybrids. agree. Yeah. It, the, when the when the artists or the stars that make it, it is kind of cool. You think, okay, what they're what they're making, what their craft is like, is so great that they actually are getting more influence and power to make whatever they want. But you know, we have like Lauren Michaels and you know a couple of New York people, SNL and stuff. So that's always kind of good to see. It's not all just L.A. folks, but. Yeah, I don't know. I love reading this list. And, yeah. and like, just read the list of people you don't know, but they have like so much power, like the agents that are on there. Yeah. All this stuff. I don't know, guys. You're in, 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 entertainment industry, read the list. It's still Very 70% cool. white men on yeah. this list, though, <laughs> really and good. we should Very acknowledge that because we're like, it's, you know, crazy, this diverse list, and it's like still 70% white men, so the future is still white. And they, still still, and they even acknowledge it. They're like, Hollywood's like, so this list is 70% white men, but it's the most diverse we've had so far. Know, yeah. like, it's like better? Better, yeah. Better. All my favorites are like Ryan Coogler's 93, Chew is 97, Haddish is 79. Like all my favorite diverse people are like at the bottom of the list. They're yeah. not even at the Shonda top Rhimes, of the list. Shonda not Rhimes is people. 30. Yeah. Shonda, Shonda Rhimes is 30. 30. Oh, 30. Yeah. Do we have any diverse people at the top 10? That, you know what I mean? I didn't no. look at the I don't. I honestly yeah. think it's a bunch yeah. of white guys. A bunch of white dudes. Well, oh, the crusty is Fairy Redstone is on there. You, your favorite, Sherry Redstone, <laughs> had a Paramount. Um, but yeah, no, I think, yeah, they need to work on that. Hmm. Yeah, Hollywood in general needs to work on a lot of stuff. Hmm. Yeah, They're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> well, in other news, there's no stopping Rihanna. The singer, actress, and entrepreneur now has a new title to add to her resume, Ambassador. The government of Barbados has named the local legend Ambassador Extraordinary, a role which tasks Rihanna with promoting education, tourism, and investment for the country. In a statement, the singer said she couldn't be more proud to take on such a prestigious title in her home country. Mm. Wow. Work, 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 so exciting. Work. Rihanna, what does she not do? Mm -hmm. I need, she does everything. She does everything it, perfectly. This is cool. I mean, this, it's not like she's like the, the amb official ambassador to the United States. It's more just um, the prime minister of Barbados has appointed her, like, gave her an official title to raising awareness and the profile of the country because yeah. she's such a good, like, already unofficial ambassador for Barbados. I learned a new word in all of this. So she's the ambassador extraordinary and pol Planetary, which mm. is a new word, I, and that means Definer. power to make, take independent action. So basically, they're like, you could do whatever you but want, the, Rihanna, which is what she does anyway. <laughs> because yeah. she rage war, be like, I no, declare war. But like they're just like, <laughs> go, go out, do your thing, and keep being awesome and independent and fantastic because whatever you do reflects well on Barbados, basically. Right. Like she doesn't have any which restraints. Is, yeah, I mean that's like true too. <laughs> yeah. It reflects well on like. Anyone she knows. She could do anything. <laughs> yeah, it's true. We saw last year, too, with Hurricane Irma, that she was, like, being very outspoken mm. for the Caribbean in general, but specifically for Bar Barbados, and she donated money. So she is somebody who we've seen consistently, like, give back to her home country, right. which is nice. All while, you know, she got her the lingerie, whatever, makeup, <laughs> right? And the Donald Glover project. That's so true. Sure. Thank yeah. you. Music. And she's an ambassador. She just does it all. She does. And Fenty Beauty is, like, yeah. for me, so much better than, like, the Kylie Jenner lip, whatever oh, she does. Oh, 100%. Like, Fenty Beauty, for me, should keep getting even more attention. Yeah. Right. I think that, like, you can't even name those two brands in the same sentence without it being kind of an insult to Fenty. Because Kylie's stuff doesn't, I mean, A, it wasn't that inventive. It was no. kind of a ripoff of previous makeup lines. And also, like, just, like, the options. Like, she did had very limited options mm -hmm. for what her makeup had. Whereas Rihanna, like, added, like, a million shades that, like, we right. hadn't even seen before. Yes. They even had shades for albinos, which is like mm -hmm. so hard to find. Yeah. Right. So. And I, I mean, I get to meet a lot of different makeup artists, and they all are like, "Yeah, it's a great. We use yeah. it. Like, it's something that professionals are using as well, which mm. says something." Yeah. Right. Totally. So basically, she's perfect and can do no wrong. But yeah, I get to me think. Yeah, we we all agree that Rihanna is perfect. But I'm also to like celebrities in these political roles. Like, of course, like Cynthia Nixon just ran for the Democratic nomination to be yeah. governor of New York. We had Arnold Schwarzenegger, who was actually governor of California. If you don't forget that. <laughs> so it's like it gets to be kind of thinking like celebrities. And politics or whatever. And for my my 
stance, and you know, I thought, probably thought about this a lot. I honestly don't mind. I like when celebrities get involved. I believe you're using your platform for good, and if you've educated opinions, you should share them. The getting involved, like if you're running for office, more comes because I just value experience so much that if you yeah. have the right experience, if you really can back it up, that you can make change politically, then go for it. I don't think celebrities, just because they're famous, they can't run for anything. It's more just like, you know, just when you do, make sure you have that experience that you need to actually yeah. assume the job that you're going to get. Right. Like, it's almost less political to me, though. It's right. like a figurehead thing. It's like Nicole yeah. Kidman, and it's always saying good things about Australia. Right. It's like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. I don't know. She's like right. This ambassador. isn't like a decision maker for people, right. In, right. you know, in all of Barbados. Like she's not going to be making laws. But no. you never know. Right. She could use this one day to run. She could be prime minister of Barbados, maybe. It's, I don't know. I mean, I she get, could though. I guess it's just, just like if you're like running for political office, you should right. just like know what you're running for. Right. Like the difference between like using your uh, your platform for to like raise awareness for things is like one thing is a, mm -hmm. is a great thing to do and to like you know spread the good word about about your country and about your home. And um, but if you're like gonna be running to be a lawmaker, you right. should probably start small and get experience yeah. in that field totally. too. You know. I don't think Rihanna ever wants to be a legitimate lawmaker. She smokes yeah. way too much weed for that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's true. She's like, yeah. I'm good over here. Like, it's whatever. Yeah. But she, anyway. could, she could bring yeah, the change doesn't we seem need, like a, Yeah. This yeah. doesn't seem like a sign for things to come. But I support her supporting her people. That's very important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, moving on, Noah Cyrus is bottling up her emotions, literally. News of the singer selling vials of her tears for $12,000 went viral over the weekend. Reports speculated that the costly tears were connected to her recent breakup with rapper Lil Xan. However, Cyrus and her team revealed that the stunt was only meant as a joke to promote her new EP, Good Cry. Noah says she'll reimburse those who donated to the fund to purchase her tears. That's a sentence I thought I'd never... We're doomed. <laughs> yeah. We're doomed. What is wrong with people? This is one of the lists I'm like, oh, yeah, we're fucked. Yeah. It's like, okay, enjoy it while we have it because this is the future, the people who bought the tears. I know. The tears. <laughs> what? I'm less mad at her because she's young. She's yeah. playing around. She's we bought it right. she's she's making, I don't know right. who she is. Like, she's selling her tears trying to, I mean, like, you know. She's Miley. Wow, she is Miley Cyrus's <laughs> sister. She is yeah. Billy Ray Cyrus's Achy Breaky Heart's daughter. <laughs> okay, this is a royal family. A royal. I don't know why you're acting like you don't know who she is. Her brother was in Metro Station. They did sh 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 shake it. Remember that song? We have Metro Station in the front row. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually do remember that song. Yeah. I do remember that song. Um, yeah, so we can't deny that we know who she is. Just for the record. I recognize the name. Yeah. <laughs> recognize the name. And she looks just like Miley. Yeah, she really does. Uh, you know, I wanted to really like Noah Cyrus and, and support her. So it's tough for me to see her going the way she is. She's not delivering Miley numbers in my book, or, or Miley vocals for that matter. Yeah. Um, but I think she's cool. And like, you know, I feel bad that Lil Xan broke up with her for false rumors about yeah. her cheating on him. Yeah. That's why she was crying. But, okay, now, but I wanted to think the people who thought this was real, so they thought that she was crying over her breakup, mm -hmm. and Lil was like, oh, I'm gonna bottle these tears up right now, mm -hmm. and then I miss my, my, my breakdown, and now and these will be the real tears I'm gonna buy. And they, the article said, <laughs> the 12 tears put in the, like, t exactly 12 tears. And I was like, what? How do you believe this yes. is real? And they, Okay, <laughs> but I know girls who chew up food on camera, put it in a Ziploc bag, and sell it to men. So the idea of a pop star being like, bling, bling, oh, it's not that crazy. I mean, we've been living in a fiery hell for a while now. That's true. So, like, celebrities selling their bodily fluids, not, not that crazy to me, honestly. Oh, yeah. God, it is so crazy to I me. I mean, SpongeBob, I feel like you might be selling some stuff on the side. Yeah, absolutely. No? I've been selling arm hairs for See? a while. See? I knew Ooh, it. Ooh, arm hair. Yeah. <laughs> See? That's a good one. Yeah. I would I, buy I, those, though. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, it helps subsidize my... Uh, my lifestyle. <laughs> Seriously. A lock yeah. of that red hair would go for a lot of money. Yeah. I know that. Yeah. I know that. And that's why I did cut off some of your you hair earlier <laughs> in the makeup room, just so, so you know. Oh, well, thank you for doing that. We yeah. should go to business together. You can yeah. buy it on it Shannon's website, beneficial. celebrityhair.com. <laughs> you see it later, you get an alert. <laughs> yeah. And then this is on a news story tomorrow. Yeah. But arm Mr. hair, that's such a good apologize. idea. That's actually a really creative idea because like, we all have it, but you never thought, like, oh, I want his arm hair. Like, it's, I think that's yeah. actually creative. I, I, I respect never, that. You would never notice if someone went missing, I don't no. think. Yeah. No. But yeah. is there any celebrity that you care that much about that you'd be like, I need their tears? Anybody? Yeah, yeah. I can't, probably. I can't think of any celebrity where I'd be like, yeah, I'm going to buy 
their tears. Uh, I mean, like, uh, have you ever hugged a celebrity and they like sweat on you a yeah. little bit, and then yes. you're like, ah, ah, you know? <laughs> like, I just feel like, you know, it has to be. Sure. You know? I just met Alexander Skarsgård outside last week, and I swear to God, like, he was just straight from the gym, and I touched a little sweaty section on his back, and I was like, oh, 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 oh I have God juice on me, you know? never wash that hand ever again. So maybe I'm a freak, but I would buy, I would buy someone's tears, or I would actually find a way to get them for free, you know, because I love a good deal. I don't know. Yeah. Just make, make them cry, and just make sure you try to collect There it. is a market out there, though, for weird celebrity stuff. Yeah. We know that online Elvis's soiled underwear has been sold. Mm. Britney Spears' is gum and yeah. Brandon Angelina breath. Yeah, I, I get it. Like, not, well, you know, I want to see the certification that that, yeah. that that was obtained. Like I don't know the the science behind that or how they got the breath, but I understand. I understand. Yeah. yeah. And after enough years, it's like a collector's item. Right. Totally. You know, as long as you don't open the tear bottle, it gains yeah. in value. Oh, you have to keep it. See, yeah, you, you know. Yeah, you keep them in packaging. You were acting right. like you didn't know. Now you know you have to keep it sealed. No, I'm just guessing. <laughs> yeah, I feel I like there's wanna, an undercover it, something going on over here. He knows. <laughs> I don't Talk want a celebrity who cries too. a lot or doesn't cry at all. Like, I don't know. Like, someone's famous tears. Claire Danes always Claire cries. Danes. Her, oh, oh, yeah. Ooh, so back no, to Homeland. I want Viola Davis's yes, tears. Yes, oh, my yes, God. Yes, and I yes. want some of the snot, too. Yes, the, yes. 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 I want all of it. I want some of that help snot. I want some of that help not. Yeah. And that how to get away with murder snot. Yeah. Oh my that god. Snot. That is it. That is the one I would snot. want right there. The fences there. snot is the one you want. The fences yeah. one was. Whoo. Oh, fences. Doubt. Oh, that was an Oscar, oh, Oscar winning snot. Duh. Yeah. yeah you Best want that. crier in Hollywood. I would pay probably $5,000 for a vial of her tears. I will say though, <laughs> Jessica Lange is a good rival. She knows mm. how to break it down very easily. Can drop those tears, but no snot. But those snot tears the... are plentiful, you know? Right. So that's a much lower value. That's true. Yeah, right. yeah so she does know right, how to. Knows. Yeah. yeah. See? She <laughs> knows. He knows. Yeah, you gotta He's... go with somebody who never yeah. cries. Yeah. yeah, right. I don't know, like. He's in theater. Tom he Hanks it. or something? Oh, does Tom, Tom Hanks, Hanks never cry? Did he no, not cry? Tom Hanks cries away? a lot. Yes, he does cry. Yeah, we need somebody who never cries. Like, who is like a tough. Oh, The yeah, Rock. The rock. His, his tears are probably like movie. crystal. They're like, yeah. <laughs> they're all ripped the tears. Rip. Like, they're hard. You can't yeah, but really. We didn't know that he could sing. You know, I think he might be crying a lot in the next 10 years. Right. Oh, Wait, The Rock man. can sing? Right? Doesn't he, oh, was doesn't he, he sing in Moana? Moana? Yes. Oh, oh about yeah. that? He sings in Moana. And he he's, sounds it's like great. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm, I was so impressed. I was like, wow, you're, you're doing it. Okay. That yeah, sounds so good. You're funny. You're strong. The cartoon. You're, I like Moana. Not anyway. Okay. But the back to the <laughs> you sold. You made it weird. I made it weird. Um, Madonna's nude sold for twenty 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 three thousand dollars, which is completely understandable. Mm. And something I'm now twenty three thousand thousand dollars in debt. Yeah. So that's why. <laughs> but an Albert Einstein wrote a letter challenging the theory of God. That went for a million dollars. What Wait, a what? nerd who bought that, right? <laughs> Tears, right? <laughs> no, no, that's actually a really cool one. Like, I was, was like, that one's actually kind of. I know dope. exactly. Like that's a, that's what I understand. Like okay, spend whatever money you have to get that letter. It's really fun. And that's cool. something that we'll appreciate over time, as Ethan. Yeah, absolutely. A letter when he challenges God, mm -hmm. Albert Einstein. Yeah, but does are his tears available? Now that would be worth. I want more money. Albert Einstein's hair. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't want his tears. I want some of that fro. <laughs> I love his hair. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I could see, yeah, I could see you just putting a locket of his hair on a necklace because you're like a brainiac. So yeah. <laughs> oh, you want the what's the Jeopardy guy's name? Alex Trebek. Oh, you, oh, you want his mustache? I want his mustache, mustache. Yeah. mustache yeah. and his Ziploc bag. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we have to get you. That's what we're all gonna chip in for. Oh, you guys, these are gonna birthday. be the best birthday gifts ever. Yeah. See how we were like, ew, that's weird. And uh, at the end of this conversation, uh, we're all like, yeah, can we get uh, John Leguizamo's kneecap? Yeah. Like, we're just like the weirdest body parts. Yeah. We're just gonna go for Poor it. Or Haley Joe Osmond. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I love that guy. Well, in other news, Freeform <laughs> is casting a spell on all the little children this Halloween. In honor of its 31 Nights of Halloween programming event, the network is transforming Hollywood's, Hollywood's historic Lombardi house to create a haunted house inspired by the 1993 classic Hocus Pocus and Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. The attraction will be the ultimate destination for Halloween lovers when it opens on October 4th. Ooh, spooky. So exciting. Scary. <laughs> Oh, no? no. no. It's, it's spooky season. It's spooky season. Yeah. Uh, spooky clap your hands if you love Hocus Pocus. Yeah, every person should be clapping their Everybody hands Everybody right should be clapping. Yeah. That movie, like, 
I mean, that movie was my one of my all time favorites. And I was talking actually last week out of nowhere, Shay and I were talking about this because I really love this movie. Yeah. Um, not only it's funny and it's great, but it's actually so scary. The beginning scene when mm -hmm. like you're in the village in colonial times and like the witch just flies across the window. I remember being so scared as like a five year old watching that. Like, oh my god! But I loved it so much. I remember loved the, it. I love it. Come little children. Oh. That scared me. Sexy yeah. Sarah Jessica Parker on yeah. a plane, being like, Ooh, oh. come That scared me. When I hear that song, I'd be like, I'm watching, but I'm yeah. scared. <laughs> you know? yeah. As a little kid, that's about as scary as I could take. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. It was really scary. Um, there's a talking cat in it, though. Yes. Always mm -hmm. good to have a talking cat in every film, even if it's not a Halloween. Uh, movie. So if you are a young screenplay writer, make sure talking cat, shove it in yeah. there. I actually heard in Lincoln there was a talking cat, but they had to get they had to cut him <laughs> last That's minute. That's so sad. Lincoln I hate when they cut the cat. <laughs> they cut the cat. cat yeah. Steven yeah. Spielberg. It was a hard decision though. But yes, talking uh, cats are great. Yeah. Uh, I love this idea though of having this haunted house. I wish they were doing it in more places though. Right. Yeah. Like I wish it was like a traveling thing for 30 days instead of you just have to go to LA to see this, which kind of sucks. I know. Don't you wish we lived in L.A.? Yeah. <laughs> you do. <laughs> yeah, I do. No, I'm sad I'm going to miss this house. I think Hocus Pocus could have its own house. I don't think they needed to mesh mash it with, uh, <laughs> what do you call, Nightmare Before, Christmas. Nightmare Before yeah. Christmas, you know? I don't know. It's like, is it going to be hodgepodgey? I'm scared. Right. I don't want, I don't want, you know, I, Hocus Pocus needs its own space. Yeah. Yes. Right? I want witches singing I put a spell on you just throughout the whole I think yeah. throughout the whole year there should be a hocus pocus house. Yeah. Thank you for yeah. that. Yeah. I think there I'll should be. Yeah. Do you think there's going to be a section where they have a candle where they just have virgins yeah. trying to light it? Yeah. I think that'd be really funny. You have to be a virgin only can be a yeah. virgin if you light it. That's great. Uh, I remember when I was little and I was I didn't know what a virgin was. <laughs> so I thought like, "Oh, why what's why is he a virgin? Why is it so special that he gets to light the candle?" And I was like, "Oh, I want to be a virgin." And, <laughs> and you're like, you were. turns out I was for a very long time. So, <laughs> dreams do come true, kids. Yeah. Never forget <laughs> <laughs> oh man well i hope we get to go to some kind of haunted house this october yeah oh have you been, haunted houses terrify me or five really? terrify High me five. yeah yeah I, I don't think i'm ever gonna i don't think i'm gonna go to one willingly really uh, yeah i guess this wasn't really a haunted house but like my first experience with like a like an immersive scary experience mm -hmm. was at universal studios the twister ride uh-huh oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember oh, that? Going and there's like a cow that flies by yeah. you <laughs> And I, I like left that screaming and crying, and uh, I don't think I'll ever go back into something that tells you that you're going to be terrified Thank yeah. you. before you are. But yeah, yeah. that rides. And I have, so I haven't gone in in like four years. Do you ride the subway? It wasn't four years. <laughs> it, was like, it was like 25 years ago. Uh, do I ride the subway? Yeah. Do you ride the New York City subway? Yeah. Don't you I feel do. like that's a haunted house? I guess that's a little, that's a little true. <laughs> you got like, your zombies on there. Yeah. You got. It'll stop at any moment. Lights will go off. Yeah. <laughs> There'll be no air. Right. Heat. That's no true. Air no air conditioning. Yeah. Just like a liquid on the floor that you don't know where it came from. Always a possibility that you'll get stabbed. Always yeah. a possibility. Yeah. 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 And sometimes there'll be somebody in a suit that you think is a normal person, <laughs> and then they're like, "You bitch!" And you're like, "Whoa, what right. happened? Bad day in corporate America, bud." Right. You know, like. Anyone can be the bad guy on the news. There's a lot subway. of monsters on the MTA. That's, right. yeah. That's why New York does so well at the ha Halloween season. <laughs> it it invests so little yeah. in bringing authentic experience to tourists. Yeah. Oh. I remember my first haunted house, it was Georgetown Day School. They, took, they take the juniors on the ha this haunted forest outside of D.C. Oh, I do remember that. And like you go walk through this, the, this forest, and they, my group was two people in my grade, plus our two grade deans. So that was a really cool group to be in. <laughs> um, but I remember by the end, I was clutching on to one of my grade deans because they come at you with like um, chainsaws and like they like and you like one time I, they came I fell and I was like I'm gonna die and they had, my friend was like just get up like get up like, yeah. like, oh, okay not gonna touch me okay <laughs> they walked off but it was scary it's petrifying you like lose all sense this is not this is fake like, you're not gonna die and you're like I'm gonna die right now I'm gonna die okay but what if in a haunted house you went in with a group and just for fun to make it seem really real they would kill just one person okay. <laughs> so then you'd be like okay Lucas got murdered <laughs> so we know like it is a real deal right but only one person is going to get murdered in every group. Right. Okay, so you go in, and like you guys, we all, we're all going as a group. We all decide yeah. one of us is going to die, but think about it. The rest of us are going to have such a fun time thinking we're actually going to die, too. Yeah. I think that could work, Jen. You want to start a business plan? Yeah, I think it'd be great, you know? It'll be like a sacrifice for the good crops. Right. Is what right. we need, yeah. Right. <laughs> there, are, there are haunted houses here in New York, though. And I went to one, my freshman year in NYU. It was like, it's... Yeah, they, no, they're here. They, they're here. They, they I had a, to do it, a very similar chainsaw story, but I'm yeah. no fun, surprise, <laughs> in a haunted house. Because the guy was chasing me, and I turned around, and I go, no! <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> Stop it. And he right. was like, my bad. 
break, totally breaks character. I was like, we're not doing this today. Yeah. Leave me alone. And he did. So, wow. yeah. That's yeah. funny. That's true power. That's power. I should be on that list. The creepiest. You should be. You will be on that list. Thank you. Without so a doubt. But um, when I went to, I went to New Orleans around Halloween time when I was in high school, whatever, and like doing the ghost tours and all that stuff. It's very scary. Like all those haunted houses down there. Yeah. That is, I recommend that. <laughs> yeah, because there's real spirits. Real there. spirits. Mm -hmm. yeah. Voodoo, ghosts. I was very freaked out. Then I ate a lot afterwards, and I was fine. But still, yeah. Whew. I just wanted to share that. <laughs> all right, we can talk about scary stuff all night, but that's all from us. We'll see you tomorrow, same time, same table. Yeah.